he's the fake tradie who has his sales pitch down pat, promising the world only to leave a trail of destruction. Ian's latest victim, Ian is his latest victim and this is his warning. Oh, he's a pig. Disgusting pig. Tavita Yungunga, this is your life. Tavita, what sort of a person takes someone's life savings, destroys their home and then disappears? I never think money. During the week, he ruins lives. So how can you have a shower? I can't. I have to shower at work. On the weekend, he goes to church. You must spend a lot of time repenting. I can do this, I can do that. No problem, I can fix this for you. I'll help you, I'll help you. And in the end, he's made your life a living hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the house is a, sh it's a shambles. It really is. Ian O'Connor was ready to crack open a cold one and enjoy retirement. That was until this hard-working 68-year-old met Tavita Yungunga. Ian O'Connor has called you a disgusting pig. Is he right? No. There's a lot of other people that would call you a lot worse. No. He's our consumer watchdog's public enemy number one. He seemed quite nice and he seemed very friendly, which I guess you could say most con men are. Hey, you are under arrest for some frauds as well as some building offences, OK? Well, Ian, it's a beautiful spot, mate. Mm, very nice here. You call this home for a while? Yeah, about 40-odd years now or so, roughly. Ian's quaint home at Illawong in Sydney South needed a bit of work. Initially, all I wanted done was this wall here built <coughs> because it had fallen down. So it's a bit of a seawall? Yeah. He dumped all this rock on my next door neighbour's driveway. And I said, I didn't want it done. He said, it's too late now. I've already purchased the materials. And then Tavita Yungunga, a well-rehearsed, uninsured, fake tradie, moved onto the house. So he's stripped it back? Yes. Just to the frame? Just to the frame. And then he's tried to build it yeah. again? Yeah. Mm. Yes, exactly. And what have you been left with? This. A mess. In fact, children have built better cubby houses. Well, look how what they did with the TV when they brought it in. He's, he's put it through the wall of the house. Yeah. Well, it is the bathroom, but there's nothing left of it now. It gets it's worse. A mess. There's just nothing left. He decided he had enough and just took oh. off. And, and just took off and didn't do anything else. Come and have a look at this bathroom. I have to shower at work. Shower at work? Yeah. I've got running water, but the running water's outside the house. Two years after Ian's house was destroyed, there's not even a tap. He still has to go outside for a glass of water. Tavita Yungunga not only took away the truck driver's great Australian dream, but every cent from a lifetime's work. Now, he can't even retire. Yeah, it's $235,000. That's a lot of money. Bloody as it is. But what hurt more was losing his pride and joy. Yeah, it was an Aston Martin DBS V8. Carl had always wanted. And I sold it and I didn't get anywhere near the sort of money I should have got for it, but I needed to sell it quickly to keep, keep financing things. When the money ran dry, Tavita Yungunga ran away. He even left the shovels. So we went to him. Oh, no, this is the first bed, time he's been like caught on camera in a 20-year history of building scams. You're a hard man to track down. I guess we can rely on a police station because your resume certainly suggests you've been here plenty of times. What I do wrong? Don't be fooled. Even his wife has previously been convicted for breaching our building laws. Yet this family regularly attends the Church of Latter-day Saints only Tavita was preaching from the con man Bible. Where's all the money? It's gone to your family, hasn't it? You're living in a life of comfort and everyone else is living in squalor because of what nice, you did. Nice. Ian, you seem in high spirits, mate, but this must break your heart. Oh, definitely. I've got to live with this. I've got to try and find some money now to fix it and, what I say, I'm going to have to start and get some tradesmen in to try and fix this up, but first of all, I've got to save up some money. Ian's only comfort is that he joins a long list of people on opposite sides of the world stung by Tavita Yungunga. Complaints about his not-so-handy work date back to 1998 and Hawaii. Authorities allegedly tried to shut him down three times. The tax office even got involved, estimating his work income at over $1.1 million in four years. He even went to jail. Hawaii's building watchdog said he's just very, very good at what he does. Then he came to the lucky country, 
Tavita and his wife were fined $95,000 in 2017. He filed for bankruptcy in 2018. It didn't stop him. Fair Trading issued three public warnings about the unlicensed tradie and then this year he was sentenced for what he did to Ian O'Connor. Why well, are you at the police station? You've got another problem, have you? Yeah. I work in no, I do the job no license. Are you a compulsive liar? Huh? Are you a compulsive liar? No, no. How do you live with yourself? How do you live with yourself? No, it won't work. This is this, this how you do your job, but I do the job. I never take the money. You don't do the job, mate. I've seen the house. He can't have a shower in his own home. But Tavita's work-life balance could be about to change. Well, good luck. How are you? Good luck trying to yeah. con the cops, Tavita. Tavita. Okay. My name's Blaine Clay, Senior Constable Andrew Clifford. I'm from Custom. More alleged victims have come forward, including a homeowner who parted ways with $100,000 for work that police claim was never completed. But for those who Tavita's admitted to deceiving in the past, there's one thing which won't change. They'll never get their money back. And he's got a, a bank account full of my money. So what do you do? Just get on with life. Oh, poor Ian. Tavita is facing 36 fresh charges. Meanwhile, Ian's friends and family are raising money to rebuild his home. And the details are on our homepage.